This is a collection of 14 boxes full of key issue comics. Last time we went through this box, I had a lot of really awesome key issues. I think this time we're going to go through this box. Uh, again, not 100% sure what's in it. Looks like some modern stuff. Oh, some beautiful Bronze Age stuff. And, oh, and some Golden Age stuff. Okay, that's going to be a fun box. Let's look through that box. All right, let's dig into this box. What do we got? We got uh, Avengers number eight, first Blackwater. I've had a lot of those in these boxes. Uh, we Live number one, first print. Love that book. Invincible number five. That might be my lowest issue. I really would like to get the rest of the series. I love the animation on that, and I really want to finish collecting all the comics. Um, Thor 133, first ego. That's pretty neat. Marvel Spotlight number three. Still look. I have a number one somewhere. Or we're looking for that. I haven't found it yet. Uh, Marvel Team Up 141. Awesome issue. It looks like I got another copy of that. Copy number two. I think we've already seen it multiple times. Copy number three. Love that book. <laughs> Love those books. Don't think that one is high as Secret Wars 8 on my like all-time favorite list. But it's definitely up there. Uh, Doctor Strange 170, awesome. Silver Age Doctor Strange, absolutely love that. Uh, Thor 337, first Beta Ray Bill, love that. Original Sin or Amazing Spider-Man number four, first appearance of Silk. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 21, newsstand edition with uh, the villains and heroes. I think the direct edition has just like family members. It's like one of the earliest uh, B variants. <laughs> Uh, Power of Warlock, number five. Awesome book. It's, yeah, and that's a really cool Doctor Doom. Like, he's in just, like, casual clothes. Interesting cover. Uh, Captain Marvel, number five. Love that. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 44. First appearance of Gorgon. Pretty decent shape. Mr. Miracle, number one. A underrated key issue. Love that one. Uh, Zap Comics, number two. One of the later printings. Zap Comics, number one. Uh, later printing. I still, I've said in previous videos with Zap Comics, I pretty much always pick them up when I see them in dollar bins. So it doesn't really matter what the, the printing is. This is still probably worth a bit. Obviously, the first couple of printings are worth a ton. But the later printings aren't too bad. Uh, Wonder Woman 72, awesome Brian Bolin, key issue. Infinity Gauntlet number three. Infinity Gauntlet number four. I'm pretty sure almost all these I got in collections cheap or for like a buck a piece, dollar bins. Uh, the Flash number one, new 52 couple copies of that. Captain Savage and the Leatherneck Riders or Raiders, number one. Uh, X-23, number four. Do I have another copy of this? That's one I'm not sure why I had that one individually in the boxes. Because usually I just put them in the box with the other X-23. Uh, Gotham City Sirens, number three. Uh, Batman and Robin, 235. Is this... I want to say this is the first appearance of Talia. Not 100% sure on that. Someone can correct me. Awesome issue. Uh, Black Panther number two. Tales of Suspense number 60. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet number six. Captain Marvel number one. So now these boxes are like kind of deja vu feeling because I think I've showed a bunch of these. I just, you know, when you're digging dollar bins and you're looking for collections and you're picking up stuff, sometimes it's easy to find lots of duplicates of key issues. Uh, the Shadow, number one, this one is signed. I'm not sure by who. Uh, Tales of Astonish, number 71. Really, really cool cover. Is that a seaweed monster? I love it. Super awesome. Uh, Tales of Astonish, number 75. Uh, X-Men 256, new version of that Psylocke suit. Uh, Lady Mechanica, uh, Collect Zero and One, Collected Edition. Love the cover. Uh, Deadpool, number 58. Really fun cover. Uh, X-Men 31. This is the first appearance of someone. I forget, though. Drawing a blank. Someone can tell me. Uh, Watchmen number four. One of the all-time greatest miniseries. Watchmen number seven. Love those. Watchmen number eight. Watchmen number nine. Watchmen number 11. These are not in order. Watchmen number 10, but I should have the full set. Watchmen number three. I probably just, you know what? The, over the years, every once in a while, I just dig through the boxes and pull stuff out, enjoy it. And so they get a little shuffled around. Number two. Oh, and there's number one. Number one is the one that's kind of the bigger value one. Awesome book. 
Watchman number five. And uh, Watchman number six. Okay, let me clear these out and make some room. Uh, this box is turning out to be pretty fun. We have Secret Avengers number one. Awesome variant. Love that cover. Uh, Game of Thrones number one. The New York Comic Con variant. I don't know if that ever became anything of value, but I'm guessing it might have. Someone can look that up for me and let me know. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, number six. I've said I always pick them up any of the seven issues. If I see it in a dollar bin, I grab it. Uh, Deadpool, number 57. Super cool. Uh, Submariner, number eight. The classic thing versus Submariner issue. Love that issue. Deadpool, 52. Uh, Doctor Strange, 174. Tales of Astonish 101. This is right before it flipped, I believe. Uh, Submariner number three. Awesome early subby issue. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number four. Uh, Johnny the Homicidal Maniac number five. I feel like I have these in every box. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 136. Uh, that's when Harry Osborn becomes the Green Goblin. This one, is that my fourth copy? I feel like I've shown that one a ton of times. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac, number three. And number seven, uh, Corn Fed Comics. So this is one of those um, super indie underground comics. Super funny. <laughs> Should be force-fed corn. I feel like that's today's uh, food market. Uh, Johnny Homicidal Maniac, number two. Watchmen, number 12. Saga, one, the Image Hits reprint. Wolverine 154, Wolverine with uh, Deadpool. I feel like we had that last time. And we had one of these last time. Uh, Wolverine Old Man Logan 66. Very deja vu feeling box. Uh, Punisher number one. We didn't have this one last box. I think we had it like eight boxes ago. I got the uh, direct and the newsstand. Um, Spectre 54, Mr. Terrific. Uh, Tim Holt? Is it Tim, Tim Holt? First appearance? That's one that's, I think, spiking now because of the... Um, James Gunn Universe. Incredible Hulk 92. First um, Planet Hulk. Rat Queens number one. Warlock number two. Love that book. Uh, another copy of Warlock 2. I think this one... This one might technically be slightly better condition, but this one's more white. This one's tanned more. It's so hard for me sometimes to decide on these books, whether it's the tanning or... Like, this is... More tanning, but less spine ticks. More spine ticks, but less tanning. Like, which one do I choose? I think I prefer that one. All right. Lady Mechanica, number three. Awesome cover. Absolutely love that cover. Uh, Captain Marvel, number 17 variant. This is the one in 25. Second cameo, Kamala Khan. Inhumans, number one. Awesome. Number one issue from the Bronze Age. Love collecting those. Uh what if number one, another Bronze Age number one? Absolutely love collecting those. Uh, X Men 244, first appearance of Jubilee. Underrated key issue. Uh, Deadpool number two. Warlock number six. Uh, Werewolf by Night. I think this is my third copy, but the lowest grade copy I have. Awesome issue. Big fan of Bronze Age horror. Uh, Wonder Woman 206. I think this is her second appearance, I want to say. Could be wrong. Uh, Morlock number three. Awesome issue. Oh, man. Thing number one. I love this issue. I think this is my third copy. And I bought one this year for 100. I wasn't like... It had been a while since I went through the boxes. So I forgot I had two of them. I just one of those books every time I see it. I'm like, I have to have it. That cover is awesome. Uh, Werewolf by Night number one. Did I show one or two? I only thought I had three issues. So there's two in this box. Maybe I showed another one. I forget. Or maybe I'm mixing up with... Uh, Tomb of Dracula one, since that's also a red cover. Uh, Marvel Team Up number four. Awesome X-Men uh, crossover issue. Uh, Marvel Team Up number two. Super cool cover. Love that. Catwoman number 60. Adam Hughes cover. Adam Hughes covers. I'm always like, when I see him, I pick him up because I think it's just beautiful. Uh, Age of Ultron book three. Absolutely love this cover. I think this cover is amazing. It's a variant edition. Uh, Green Lantern 48, the first uh, Kyle Rayner issue, I believe. Uh, Rust number one. I think this has a Spawn 1 ad in it. Uh, Psylocke issue number two. Beautiful David Finch cover. Psylocke number four. Another David Finch cover. Psylocke three. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, Action Comics number one. I think this is the Nestle reprint because it has like kind of the newsprint quality. All these reprints are in demand though, or have some desirability. Uh, A Force number one, really beautiful variant cover. Uh, Psylocke number one. This is the most expensive issue in the series, obviously. Um, David Finch cover, beautiful cover. Deadpool number seven, Merc with the Mouth. This is a uh, First Lady Deadpool. Uh, Preacher number 51. I think this is the first preview, 100 Bullets. So I got one copy of that. I got two copies of that. Uh, Preacher number 66. I forget what the key is on this, but I would have pulled it for my run because it's a key issue. Same with number 13. Again, that's a key issue. I just forget which key it is. Uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7. That's when um, Supergirl dies. Spawn 220. Any spawns in the 200s are usually pretty rare and expensive. Uh, Yusugi and Jimbo number one. That's the second copy we've seen in the collection. Uh, Catwoman 45. Adam Hughes cover. Absolutely gorgeous. X-Force number two. Uh, second appearance of Deadpool. Got way too many of those. I should probably thin those out a bit. Uh, X-Men 244. First appearance of Jubilee. Second copy of this box. Uh, Tales to Astonish number 66. Absolutely love the Silver Age Marvel stuff. Uh, Thor number 148. Is that the first appearance of the Wrecker? I forget. Uh, Walking Dead number one. This is the Image Hits reprint. New Mutants 14. I believe that's the first appearance of Magic. Uh, New Mutants number 16. I feel like this is the first appearance of uh, the kid who becomes a bear. I forget his name. Uncanny X-Force number one. The Midtown Comics New York Comic Con J. Scott Campbell variant. I don't know if that's worth anything, but I'm assuming it's relatively rare. Uh, Fantastic Four number 44. First appearance of Gorgon. Pretty decent shape. Uh, Ultimate Fallout number four. So another copy. First appearance of Miles. Uh, Alpha Flight number 16. I think this is the first cameo of Big Hero 6. Catwoman 53. Awesome Adam Hughes cover. Love that one. Catwoman 46. Another Adam Hughes cover. Beautiful book. Uh, the Boys number one. I have a full set of The Boys. I just happened to put my number one in the key issue box. Awesome book. Oh, let me clear these out again. Okay, just a handful more in the box. We got Amazing Spider-Man 569. Awesome Venom variant. Another one of these Uncanny X-Force Midtown New York Comic Con exclusives. Uh, this one just says variant edition, so it's the same artwork, just slightly different colored. I don't know what the difference between these are. Someone can let me know that. Uh, let's see. Batman Robin number two. It looks like a Jim Lee autograph. Yeah, it's the Dynamic Forces Jim Lee autograph book. Uh, he did 200 or 199 copies. That is super cool. I like the Dynamic Forces uh, signed ones. Uh, Psylocke number one again. I think this issue is over 100 bucks. I'll have to double check that, but it's been a while since I looked up. Definitely an issue people will pay for, though. And then X-Men 134, which is, I think, the beginning of the Dark Phoenix series. No, maybe I'm mixing that up. I don't know. Someone can let me know on that as well. <laughs> it's been a long set of videos. My brain is tired. So, um, you know, I'm always thankful when you guys give me information of stuff I forgot.